The iPhone 13 mini is probably one of my favorite phones ever, especially compared to any of the more recent phones that I've used. But with that said, and as much as I gush over it, I don't think that it is a perfect phone fit for every single body. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about five reasons why you probably shouldn't buy the iPhone 13 mini. The first reason why you probably should not buy the iPhone 13 mini is if you're somebody on the go. And before I go more into detail, I should clarify this. For me personally, the iPhone 13 mini battery works perfectly well. That means that until around 5 to 6 p.m., I'm good with battery life and then I'd have to top it up if I'm leaving the house or just top it up for the end of the day. But in general, this battery lasts me. But the times that it did fail on me were the times that I was outside connected to anything but Wi-Fi. Those are the times where the iPhone 13 mini battery does not hold up as well as the other phone options. For example, when I was in Jamaica last month, I needed to carry an external battery pack because I knew that the phone was just not gonna last all day as I expected so for somebody that is constantly commuting maybe on the train often maybe you're flying on a plane often the iPhone 13 mini is not gonna be the phone for you unless you want to use external battery pack or bring your charger around everywhere that you go reason number two that you should not get the iPhone 13 mini is if you're somebody that games a lot I'm not somebody that games on my phone at all at sometimes randomly I'll play Call of Duty mobile mostly for the videos but for the most part I don't really like gaming on the phone i'm not a gamer in general but if you are somebody that is really into mobile gaming playing games like call of duty or any games through apple arcade you're gonna have a problem with the iphone 13 mini and in my use what i've noticed is that when i'm gaming like playing games like call of duty mobile the on-screen buttons it doesn't feel that intuitive on the smaller 5.4 inch display my thumbs get all over the display and it's a little bit hard to navigate the screen while I'm playing certain games. It's not the greatest experience. I would suggest getting like an external controller that kind of takes away the problem, but at the same time, it's still a smaller screen. But not only is the small size of the screen a problem, another big problem that I've noticed, especially when gaming, is that the phone gets hot. Now, this is not exclusive to the 13 mini, but if you think about it, since the battery on the 13 mini is not that great, it's a smaller battery, then getting the phone hot and decreasing battery over time, you're gonna run out of battery a lot quicker than you would on any other phone. The third reason why you probably shouldn't buy the iPhone 13 mini is if you are a content creator. The iPhone 13 mini takes really good photos and really good videos. Everything on it looks crisp, photos pop. It's all good in that front. It works well for me and my use. But if you're somebody that you know makes a living on creating content and you're somebody that needs to have the best looking pictures out of a phone and you just wanna be completely mobile, then the iPhone 13 mini is not gonna be the phone to get. And that's because in general, it's not the best camera out of the iPhone lineup. You're gonna to want to get the 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max, and that's because the image quality is a little bit different. It has a telephoto lens. That means that you can be a little bit more dynamic with the shots that you're creating or the shots that you're trying to get. You might be too far at sometimes, but with that telephoto lens, you could pop in a little bit closer and get a different kind of shot. Reason number four is if you're on a tight budget. The iPhone 13 mini is the cheapest iPhone 13 out of the batch, so it starts at $699 which I think is a relatively good price for what you get. But at the same time, a lot of people might be hard on money. A lot of people might be buying this for their kids so they don't wanna like blow the bank or maybe it's just a secondary phone. Then paying $699, is not really a good idea when you can get the iPhone 11 for just $499 and that has a larger display, a really good battery life, it has Face ID, it has a lot of good features that the iPhone 13 mini also had and speeds that are probably very similar to the iPhone 13 or the iPhone SE as well. Personally speaking, I would probably just go with the iPhone 11 if I'm really on a budget. I think that that's probably the best budget iPhone and not the iPhone 13 mini, especially if you don't need the latest processor. You don't need a newer design or a smaller phone, then the iPhone 11 is a really, really good option. And number five, I think this is probably the most obvious answer, but something that a lot of people probably don't think about is if you watch a lot of content on your phone, this one's a little bit smaller, so content seems a little bit more cramped, and I don't know, it's just not a good, as much of a good experience as it is watching on like the Pro Max or the 13 Pro or the regular 13, just because they have bigger displays, more can fit onto the screen, so just using it is a really good experience. With that said though, I don't wanna make it seem like the 13 mini, the screen is like super small, you can still use it for texting, browsing, 
anything that I typically use it for, it's great for the screen size at 5.4 is not a really good problem and you get a really crisp display. But again, somebody like me that has astigmatism and needs glasses, it's a little bit annoying to have to strain my eyes sometimes when I'm watching content or reading very fine content on the iPhone 13 mini. To wrap this up, those are the five reasons why I would suggest not getting the iPhone 13 mini if you're looking into a new phone. Let me know what you think of the iPhone 13 mini down below in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one, peace. Oh, <laughs>